Do I look like I fit in? I feel like I fit in. Alright, I made it to Kalispell. I have been to Billings, I've been to Bozeman so many times, but I've never been to Kalispell. It's a little bit cloudy, it's a little cooler, that's why I wore the hoodie. Don't even know what the transportation looks like. I didn't read the emails, but I'm sure somebody's waiting down there. Now off to camera camp. Okay, we made it to camera camp, and this is so much nicer than I thought it would be. No knock on Montana, I've been to Montana before, but this feels much more like Alaska, and my wife's from Alaska, so we come up to Alaska a lot. I'm gonna learn how to do some crazy epic B-roll that you're gonna see in this video. First thing is we come and check in in this incredible lodge. <laughs> Look at this place. It's pretty amazing. This is like totally rustic. Wait, is this bag for me? Yes. Whoa. Okay, fancy. This coin they gave me, I take it outside to a trailer and I exchange it for a cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. This looks like the place. It is. This I don't is know what's happening here, but this is cool. Inside the trailer is where you go to pick out your hat, and then you come out here and I do the shaping and any fitting that needs to be done. I didn't know that was a thing. Hat shaping but I'm all about it. So I've got my coin. Now, how do I pick out a hat? There's so many. So, these hats here are good for your coin. These ones here are good, and these ones are good. What is a good hat? Because I don't know anything. All the hats look the same to me. <laughs> See, everybody's got a different shape. Okay. Different, <laughs> so depending on how you like to use a hat or what you want to do with it or what you're, you know, everybody's kind of your own personality. This one is good looking that you picked out. But this is a good looking Should I try that one on? Absolutely, try okay. this one on. All right. Here we go. I'm trying on my first hat. This is the, I don't know what, but I'm putting it on. The twister crusher one. Oh, that's nice. That feels nice. Does that look good? Okay, mirror time. Oh yeah, I like that. Um, let me try the black. I do like this brown one though. So the brown looks good on your coloration? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope. I like the brown. Brown's gotta be it. I think this is the one. It's the first one I tried on. It's the only one I need to try on. It looks great. All right, I got my hat. Do you recommend right. I go to the shaping guy at all, or is it good? Yes, because it needs a straight be straight. Okay. Okay, here's my hat. What kind of uh, material is this? This is, uh, the material is felt. This one made out of wool. What I'm doing is, uh, is using steam to hand shape the hat. Okay, so this is it? This is the style for me, you think? We'll, we'll give it a try and see. Uh, Want to change something about it? You can do that. I have no you idea. Well, there we are. I'm a cowboy now. Yeah. With my hoodie on. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. You bet. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Do I look like I fit in? I feel like I fit in. Okay, first of all, the water from the lake is right there. We've got boats and everything, just right across the grass, and then you walk into this place. I get my own room. And yeah, this feels like a cabin. Happy camper. I can't believe how nice it is here in Kalispell, Montana. And the temperature is perfect. I'm wearing a hoodie and it just feels nice. And you have to understand, I live in the desert where today I think it's 92 degrees. What's inside of the gift bag? Comes with a uh, Hydro Flask. I've never actually had the Hydro Flask brand before, so that's cool. Nice and pretty white, all right, thank you. Next thing, oh, there's a lot of room in there. What do we got? Oh my gosh, these are just like Bose noise canceling. Holy smokes, that's awesome. Thank you, Sony. Okay, a Joby Gorilla Pod. I'm kind of a sucker for the Jobies. I've had them for a long time. Let's see what else we got. 
64 gigabyte SD card. This is amazing. This is all the stuff that I use all the time. It's a little storage container for all my SD cards. Okay, that's it for that pocket. Dang, this bag is huge. It feels like there's another pocket down here. Okay, okay, what is this? Webcam cover. Oh, so you just put it over your webcam. So it's like safe, safe, okay, that's nice. This is a uh, bumper sticker for the Flathead Lake Lodge that we are at right now. Nice, a postcard, I have a postcard. Okay, send that to somebody. Oh, that fits perfectly, whatever that is. It's actually another bag. Another bag inside of the bag. Oh yeah, that's for a camera. Okay, so that's a pretty cool bag. So this bag comes with a perfectly sized, safer, softer spot for your cameras and your lenses and all of that stuff. Okay, that's what's inside of this bag. The uh, biggest thing is definitely the Sony Bluetooth wireless noise canceling headphones. That's amazing. Okay, and now the, to the Switch Pod. This is the new product that is just released. Really, really nice of them to send it to me early to give it a try. Uh, and I'm really curious to use them. The packaging is pretty darn fancy. I mean, look at this box. Really soft felt right there, and then some foam down in there. Okay, first impressions. This is extremely light. Really, really light. When you see it on camera, you always think that it's gonna be heavy and somebody's holding it as heavy, but that's pretty cool that it goes out like that. Since I can't really put my camera on there now, I'm gonna put my phone. I do have a special uh, phone case that is incredible. I could just go like this and vlog. Let's put it down and see what it does. Okay, this is my one concern. You set it down and it's really nice. Like that's nice, but what happens if I wanna go and put it in a tree or put it on an unbalanced surface. With the Joby, I can take it and I can move everything around and I can put it on things. With this switch pod, you're kind of stuck. What if I come over here and I wanna put this in the tree to get a time lapse of this beautiful site? I mean, I guess I could set it like that, but there's nothing else I could do. I can't like rotate it to turn it up. The Joby I like because it has this rotating head on it. It also has the arms that grip around that. That's really helpful. When I talk to some of my other YouTube friends, some people like Marquez Brownlee that has like a really, really heavy camera, if he puts his heavy camera onto the Joby, it often falls down. You probably saw that in Casey Neistat's videos when he used to do videos, his Joby was always falling down because sometimes this wasn't meant for like a big camera. But the Switch Pod, because it's metal, you can just hold it and it's gonna do great. So that's definitely an advantage if you use a heavier camera. I don't, I use this Sony AX53, which isn't that big and it works pretty well. But yeah, I'm gonna give this a try for a few days, put an actual camera, this camera on it, and see what it's like to vlog with it. If you are an aspiring YouTuber, but don't yet have like a huge following yet, you need to be very conscious about the things that you purchase and like how much money you spend on things. I am fortunate enough to get this for free. And also, as you saw earlier, I just got a Joby Gorillapod for free. Let me test it out a little bit more and uh, I'm excited to have it. Now I'm gonna go to the gear checkout and see if they'll let me borrow some cameras. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. This is all the lenses cameras. If I did this one, yep. what would be the most versatile lens? The thing I like about this is I can vlog. I can be like this yeah, and vlog. Got a really great wide but then lens. I can go, what is this, 20 times optical zoom? <laughs> 24 to, uh, 24 to 105. 105 G. That's a big yeah. Also, image stabilized. Big Can you get wide shots just on yourself yeah. if you're holding yeah. it like this? Yeah. What's 24 look like? 24 looks it like it it's gonna look great from this from from an arm's length away. Yeah. It'll be a really good yeah. field of view. What's the retail price of this if I went and bought it in the store? Uh, yeah. The Alpha 7 Mark III retails for about 2,000. Okay. Um, the 24 to 105. I want to say it's like 1,200. Like 11.99. 11.99. Oh, I'm gonna okay. test this out. This oh, is gonna be my camera this weekend. I need to get a mic on it. I'm gonna take it around and uh, tomorrow's video, maybe I'll film the entire thing on this and see what you guys think. Okay, this is me using the giant camera. But it's actually not that giant. I should probably get a tripod for it. I'm gonna get a tripod for it. <laughs> now I am rocking the switch pod right now. This feels a lot easier than the other one. But let's go down and get some shots. I've never used this camera or one this nice for any type of filming. So the sun is about to set, then there's gonna be a fireside type thing. It's really funny because this is a camera camp. There's like 100 people that are here that are photographers and videographers. Everybody's standing by the water right now <laughs> trying to get the shots. Um, enjoy these shots from our fancy camera.
All right, it is crazy beautiful behind me, but it is starting to rain, and this camera is really nice, and I signed a paper saying I would return it, and they probably want me to return it in one piece. Probably go inside, because I don't want to ruin this fancy camera. Good morning from day two of camera camp. I am heading to my first class, and I have three classes this morning on how to use this camera better. So, time to learn, I'm a student. part of the day where we go on a boat tour on this lake. This lake is huge. I've got the fancy camera. Hopefully it looks good on here right now. And I'm going to test out the slow motion mode because I've never really used it before and I'm learning how to take some good slow motion B-roll shots. But um, enjoy some lake shots. middle of the lake right now. Um, pretty beautiful out here. It's still a little cold, but I've got my jacket on. This thing is keeping me warm. Back home where I live, it's 92 degrees today, and out here it's probably 58 degrees. I mean, this is the lens right here. Check this thing out. I want to bet, basically. You want to bet? I want to bet. All right, so he's got this giant lens here and uh, filming people, B-roll of people in the back of the boat, and it's like he's right up on them with like really cool dynamic range. I don't know much about these fancy lenses, but that's pretty cool. If I were going to a like football game or something, I bet I could get some cool videos of $13, people. Thirteen thousand dollar lens. Thirteen thousand dollars? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's as much they as only let me. Car. They only let me borrow for two hours. <laughs> okay, so you're probably wondering what does it look like seeing the footage out of a thirteen thousand dollar lens? Well, Josh from the YouTube channel Make Art Now, he's gonna give me a shot of me, right? Yeah, so, go jump in there, dude. Okay, so what do I do to stand at the end of the boat and act like I'm doing something cool? Yeah, I basically need you to get about 13 feet away. <laughs> the minimum <laughs> focusing distance. On a 15 foot boat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All so, right, uh, I'm going. On the edge. <laughs> All right, we're coming back into the dock. That was a pretty cool boat ride. I got to use a $13,000 camera. That was pretty sweet, so tell me what you thought about these shots, because I'm really trying here. I'm trying to do a better job than just holding my camera out, and I've learned a few things while I've been here at Camera Cam. That's smoke. The boat's on fire. <laughs> and on tonight's docket, we are going to a steak fry dinner. They're supposedly picking us up in fire trucks to take us there. Off to dinner we go. Now welcome to Montana. This is how everybody gets around. I decided I'm just gonna sit in the front because why not? Let's sit in the front of the fire truck. I hope there's a horn that I can blow. Right here, this guy. Oh, yes. First ride in a fire truck did not disappoint. <laughs> we sprayed water, like the old school fire trucks with like 50 people in the back. So now we're in the middle of a nature preserve. There's a giant elk right up here. Supposedly there's some bears around this area, so I'm gonna keep my eye out for that. And then uh, dinner time. Amid the hustle and the bustle, we finally made supplies. On the day we left, they was hugging and kissing and all the women cried. Hey, let them roll. All right, dinner was seriously incredible. So good. But now we're doing a group shot and then it's back on the buses. Look through a window. If you see the camera, then the camera can see you, okay? Okay, so now it is late at night. We had the dinner, which was cool, and we're about to do something that I've always wanted to do. It's called light painting. You take a light, like a flashlight, like I've got this guy right here, but you like change something with the exposure in the camera, and then you move the camera around and you can like draw things. It's something that I definitely can't do with my regular camcorder, but with this fancy camera, 
I should be able to do it. It's probably gonna to be too dark out there to really get too much of me talking and showing you the process, so in case I don't explain the process, here is the cool picture that we made. All right, light painting, let's go. Right now they're cooking up like 50 or 60 steaks on the fire right now. Oh, people are already eating. People are eating. I'm gonna go eat. 